Hi folks, Danny from Dance Tech, and today's video guys, I'm going to be bringing you a CPU cooler review. This one's going to be of the Arctic Freezer 11 LP. This is a low profile cooler featuring 50 aluminium fins and two copper heat pipes and also a white 92mm PWM fan. Now this cooler retails for about £13 and £14 here in the UK, so it's a relatively cheap cooler. So if you are looking for a relatively inexpensive CPU cooler then... Um, yeah, this could potentially be an option for you if you really do want one on the cheap. So yeah, we're going to go over the overview of the cooler, see what you get. And um, yeah, just going to go over the installation, um, go over the benchmarks, and then overall just recommend it to you guys or not near the end. So without further ado, let's jump into it. To get started, that's for a quick unboxing. Inside the box, we're presented with the cooler, the mounting accessories, and a manual so you know how to install the cooler. The cooler comes with pre-installed MX4 thermal compound, so no need to install your own. As for the manual, this is very well illustrated and it makes the cooler look rather easy to install. I'll get onto the installation of the cooler a little later on. On to a further look at the unit, the cooler's total dimensions with the 92mm fan attached is 115 by 105mm with the height being 53mm. The 11LP is a low cost cooler so naturally wouldn't expect it to be much larger. These dimensions make this cooler ideal for people wanting to install it inside cases with extremely little cooler clearance. As for the total weight, it comes in at 230 grams, very light for a lower profile cooler. This cooler is compatible with the LGA 115X platforms in addition to the older LGA 775 platform. The heatsink features a tightly packed fin stack consisting of 50 fins and two copper heat pipes. These make contact with the base plate and loop round towards the middle of the heatsink. This should give you a good indication of how well the cooler is going to perform. As for the included fan, this is a white 92mm fan. The RPM range is between 900 and 2000 RPM. Noise levels are rated at 0.3 sone, so nothing that special. Moving on to the installation of the cooler, on to my test rig, you'll want to start off by removing your existing cooler and to place both mounting brackets over the CPU cooler mounting holes. With this done you can then slot the four push pins into the bracket holes, then place the cooler on top. After this, screw in the four large screws to secure it into place, making sure the screws enter the screw holes below and to be sure to tighten these down evenly. Finally, don't forget to connect the fan. Overall, a relatively simple mounting procedure and should not see why anyone should have any issues. Finally, onto the performance, testing this cooler on my i7-4790K with all cores locked at 4GHz of the automatic voltage of 1.08, the 11LP was able to keep the CPU running at a relatively cool 70 degrees Celsius with a room temp of 20 degrees. This was while running, of course, my usual benchmark of rendering out the pretty intensive 2016 How to Build a Gaming PC Guide in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. You can also see how this cooler fared compared to other low profile coolers tested by myself including some from Noctua and Reven. Although this cooler is definitely not meant for extreme overclocking at all, I wanted to see how it fared with my 4.4GHz overclock at 1.25V. The temperature recorded was a very hot 97 degrees, very warm compared to many dual tower coolers that I've tested in the past, however a lot better than the two stock Intel coolers that you get, of which both did fail the 4.4GHz test within the first minute, showing this cooler overall has more thermal resistance. As for the noise levels, although I'm going to save these audio clips for my low profile cooler comparison video coming very soon, I can say that it was relatively quiet for the size at good old 4GHz. Definitely quieter than the two Intel stock coolers as advertised on its retail box. Overall this cooler did a fantastic job at keeping the i7 4790K cooler at 4GHz and would definitely recommend it at the very low price you can find this cooler on the market for. Anyhow, let's roll the outro and conclude on the 11LP cooler from Arctic. So people, so yeah, that was the low profile LP11 or 11LP from Arctic. Overall, a very good cooler. And um, yeah, for 13, 14 quid, you're getting a very good cooler here. The two Noctua coolers that were next to this one on the graph was the Noctua, it was the L9i and the L9i X65. They're both quite a bit more expensive than this one. They're 35 and 40 pounds respectively. So this cooler is overall just good for the money, it really is. It's it's relatively cheap and, well, shall I say very cheap in comparison to them to Noctua coolers. And yeah, it performs well. I really don't have any real complaints. It's, uh, it's a good cooler and relatively quiet. Um, I suppose the installation could be improved, but overall it works and it cools the CPU. There's nothing much that I can say about that. So hopefully you've enjoyed this review. I haven't posted 
yeah, I haven't posted a CBU Clue review in like two months, and um, yeah, I think it was about time to post one. Um, a lot of you guys online are kind of kind of call me the person to review CPU coolers, so I'm like, oh, there we are, here's a review, hope you've enjoyed. Um, oh, ooh, also, do stay tuned, um, in a few days we'll be reviewing a GTX 1080, it's a Zotac one, um, it's a pretty damn good card, so um, yeah, look forward to that. Gonna be bringing you some 4K and 1440p benchmarks. So thanks for watching this review of the Freezer 11LP, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.